Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I'm Captain Nips, and in today's Battletech Backer Beta, with a slightly different cadence, we're doing a little bit more of the same thing as the Euler program rolls on. Another of the Euler duos comes out to play as Usyk Irregulars pilots vie for the chance at fame, glory, and fortune in the Welcome Oregon Reach. Commander. Today, in the hot seat, a pair of hunchback pilots, starting off with new guy, Iolo, bringing Gunnery 7, Piloting 5, Guts 5, and Tactics 6 with evasive movement to the table. Paired with Bjorn, our resident Viking. Gunnery 8, Piloting 4, Guts 6, Tactics 4 with Bulwark in the Hunchback 4P. So we were representing both flavors of the Hunchback today. The Big Gun flavor and the All Energy flavor. Up against them today... The Light Assault Lance with a little bit of a tweak because at their full strength I was giving up almost 5 million sea bills. So instead, filling the role of Kentaro today is a Vindicator. He's still giving up a good chunk of sea bill headroom, as always, giving up tonnage and giving up action economy, which, as we have found, is turning out to be tough for some of these duos. Today, with Hunchbacks, I think we take it over to Alpine River, rotate back. And let's get this drop started. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. The lights go green and the launch button is on. Let's head down to the battlefield. Command as new guy and Bjorn look to post up. All right, so we fought in the hills and we fought in the dales. So we need to pick a spot and fight. We've had good success baiting the enemy down into the river. And so I think there's no reason not to follow that plan again. What can I do for you? New guy's evasive move might not be the be-all end-all that he remembers it as. The last time he was out on the field, evasive move was ridiculous and it has been toned down since. We'll see if it uh, proves to be of any use to him in this match. Bjorn, on the other hand, Ready to rock. with his bulwark, definitely just wants to get down and into the river, post up, and punch the lights out of anything that gets out. close. And in fact, I think we might actually set up a little bit further on the river than usual. Let them come to us in an even more protracted sense. So I'm going to keep new guy down here at the edge of the forest to start. And we're going to put Bjorn down in the river. As the enemy team comes up. Start with Bjorn. Get down that way. Send Iolo. You got it. Down into the edge of the trees. as we survey the scene over the shoulders of the Hunchbacks. Gotten a message from High Command. Standing still and surveying the scene is not going to win battlefields. So, what are your orders, Skipper? let's get down into it, shall we? Using up the very last edge of this forest, we find our first contact in the distance. As Bjorn is going to just make it for the water. I think we, uh, I think we start with the line here and we'll back the line up as we need to, as we find whether we need it or not. We definitely want to take the river first with that Hunchback 4P and all those medium lasers that after extensive science we have discovered runs real hot. Skipper. Go figure. 
Now we might have an opportunity to use some of the terrain up here, but it's always been a little tough to make that happen. So instead we're going to just pull back and stick to the trees for the time being. Let the enemy come to us. Now, Bjorn can move in and get the first salvo off, but it's probably going to invite all sorts of retribution in the process. So, I think what we'll do is we'll take a couple of steps. Let's, let's see. So, we are exchanging lines of sight here. He can't see, and I can't see. So, I'm just going to take one step forward and guard up. We're going to guard into the bulwark situation. As the enemy team actually doing a really good job of death balling here. Leading with its medium mechs, urban mechs at the back of the line, as per usual as we found in these trials. Confirmed. So the question becomes who goes first? Let's uh let's reserve and see what happens. Alright. As the enemy 4G Hunchback lands its first shot. And the Vindicator lines up a few shots of its own. Bjorn now has line of sight to the enemy Hunchback in the distance. I hear ya. So we're going to start this party off right with the Disco Ball of Death. Landing hits across the board. Not really focusing down. But likewise, not surprising given that uh, Bjorn is a little bit of a wild loose cannon. Speaking of loose cannons, we got a loose cannon right here. Lining up an auto cannon 20 shot in the distance. Medium lasers backing it up. Here you go. Iolo's auto cannon goes wide, but he lands the pair of mediums on that left torso side. Threatening to take away the ammo for the auto cannon. As now the autocannon trains, they come a calling. Bjorn taking hits, tanking for the team. What are your orders, Skipper? What can I do for Bjorn's going to take the first shot here before this hunchback moves. Hopefully, we can put a laser or three on that side torso and take away the autocannon ammo. Literally everywhere but that torso. Bjorn. Bjorn. Focus down, my man. Dial it in. Meanwhile, the autocannon rounds coming hot and heavy as Bjorn takes one straight to the chest. The armor holds, but only just barely. Which is going to give new guy an opportunity. Only a coin flip with the autocannon, but if it lands, we're in good shape. Right side. Opening up the right torso now. We like this position, because now crits to either side torso, and that hunchback is down its big gun. Bjorn continues to take all of the weapon fire. All right. Bjorn again going to take the first first go here. This time he's going to rotate rotate his left. Right, Present the left side to all of that incoming fire while he shoots over the shoulder. Ro torso twisting to fire all those medium lasers. Landing shots on. And suddenly the hunchback in much worse shape. Takes away the autocannon ammo. It's down to a medium laser and a small. New guy. New guy with an opportunity to dial in some cleanup here. Can't quite get the autocannon. Here we go. Three dots of movement. Leaning on the evasive movement skill. Dialing in a shot on this hunchback. Looking for the kill. 
Only 10 structure left in the CT. Even a grazing blow will kill it. Auto cannon shots to the legs and the lasers go to ha, limbs like as well. Enemy hunchback keeping it together. Vindicator in the distance going for a higher position. New guys. Evasive move not saving him from the PPC salvo. And here come the auto cannon trains. Takes another auto cannon. Sprays of fire everywhere as new guy continues to take shells to the chest and arms. Which means it's time for him to hop right out of there. Present the left side here. It's a little beat up. Let's see. But we get two dots of movement if we get to here. You got it. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to clear heat. We're going to guard. Present that left side. Hope it holds, which may very well not. Not even sure where that shot hit. As Bjorn is going to go finish the job that he started. And maybe pre present a more tantalizing target. Uh, enemy in the distance. A stiff breeze kills this hunchback. But we got more than a stiff breeze. As the first laser does the job and the rest is just for firing effect. Carving that hunchback up leaving little to no salvage behind. Vindicator moving for even higher ground as it gets Iolo's rear with LRMs. And then here come the uh, party bros themselves. Autocannon rounds incoming as Bjorn takes one to the chest. Center torso opened up and now it's, like now it's time to have to really guard down against sh hits to the uh, center torso. Right arm goes off. Minus one laser. Good to go. And now Iolo has an opportunity to push the position of the hunch... Not the hunchback, but the urban max. Right side is still pretty... Still in pretty good shape, so we're gonna... We're gonna turn this I'm to there. present the right side. Granted, the Vindicator is right up the... Right up the way. As Iolo takes out one of the autocannons of the Urban Mechs, nearly taking out the Urban Mech itself, Vindicator running for long-range shots as Bjorn is now in danger of getting down. Six structure left in the CT. Bjorn going to have to present his left side very prominently to avoid getting downed completely here. as the unfortunate shots to the chest. Got it. But Bjorn cleans up the uh, first of the Urban Max, finishing the job that Iolo starts. Two tangos down, but a lot of damage received in exchange, and now new guy's right leg in a bad way. Bjorn's going to have to maneuver again to get a clean shot. Still presenting his left and back where he can, where the armor still exists. Still taking advantage of that river. Absolutely drilling the right side of that urban mech with lasers. Finally dialing it in, taking away the big gun in the distance. But now he is taking hits from up the hill from that Vindicator. With the Urban Mech removed as a serious threat, it's now time for the Vindicator up the hill to be dealt with. Iolo going to come in hard. 
try and give up only the right side. It's probably not going to work, though. It's a bad way either way. He loses a leg or he loses a side torso. Neither of those things are desirable, but we can at least put damage on first into the bulwarked target. As he cuts into the left torso, armor holds. The Vindicator may be... It might be that the Vindicator has to carry its team here. Confirm. No focus to speak of, somehow. No focus to use to chew through this Vindicator. But we do have movement we can take. Getting three dots of movement modifier and getting into the right side of this Vindicator where that... Vulnerable PPC arm just happens to be sticking out. Good numbers. We'll light him up. Oh, but the AC-20 shot goes wide, and the lasers are going to land to very little effect through the bulwark. Happens to get the head hit and some collateral damage nearby. But here comes the focus shot out of the Vindicator as it comes down into melee. Swinging hard and swinging hot, but swings low and hits the leg. Party laser coming online. Following up on that same leg, and now Iolo's legs are at a distinct possibility of getting shorn out from beneath him. Bjorn needs to come and support as best he can. Wholesale giving up his back to the enemy team. Again, trying to position to somehow take damage on the armor panels that aren't the center torso do we have we still don't have focus somehow medium lasers lined up on the uh, left side of the vindicator could take out an LRM and a small laser other than that we're just hoping for overwhelming damage here coin flips across the board on our medium laser shots a lot of misses Looks like maybe two of those lasers hit home. The urban mech in the distance going to try and maneuver for a shot. Not quite getting there. New guy with the focus, however. He might not need it. He might not take it. Because Bjorn actually has a better alpha right now, I think. Uh, let's just do the math quick. 150, 170 Commander? versus... 50, 100, 150, 175. If I get close, 195. I can get close. Bjorn can close the distance. Problem is heat, but Bjorn's got high guts. On my way. And as we learned in all of that science we did, we might be able to squeak this under underneath that red line. Throw the focus on. Let's get to the coring. Plenty of he heat headroom to work with. As Bjorn lights up the Vindicator. But spreads the damage pretty thin. Hitting all the armor panels to be spoken of. Bjorn taking some fortunate missing from the PPC. The laser's coming through, but now new guy's got an opportunity to clean up checking sides on this Vindicator. If we can take away that PPC, that would be a great place to be. Gets back into the right arc of the Vindicator. Creeping in. Turning around. Lighting him up like a Christmas tree. Takes away the PPC. Bites into the right torso. Still a decent amount of uh, weapons on that. Vindicator and also can always throw a punch, so we need to be wary. Order. New guy throwing caution to the wind, looking to drill the Vindicator on subsequent turns. Very nearly taking out the leg, takes out the right torso. Vindicator's going to get a chance to move here, though. Someone's going down this round. It might be two of them. We'll see what happens. Vindicator backs up, firing its lasers and its LRMs at Bjorn. Bjorn tanks the hit. Reporting. Structural damage. Manages to keep it together. 
and now has an opportunity to finish the job that Iolo very clearly started here. Getting into the right arc again, trying to push that advantage of the weak side. 18 structure left in the leg, but 106 total health on the CT. Heat scale creeping up, but definitely under the red line. Bjorn lets loose with the shots. Lots of critical damage, gets the leg. Center torso down to one. A single soul damage. Takes out that Vindicator from the side. The Urban Mech having no opportunity but to just look on as Iolo is going to come around the corner and likely confirm this kill. Save the auto cannons for the Irby in the distance. We've got a center torso at 45 to hit and a one structure remaining. Three weapons should do the job. Something's going to land and there you go. Vindicator gets cored out in what is just a brutal exchange between it and the two hunchbacks. Now Bjorn has the reach and can find the line of sight even gets into optimal range. The question is, is he going to come in under the red line? Starting to generate a lot of heat. Creeps out to the edge. Still well under the red line. Lines up the shot on the right side of the Urban Mech. The already weak side. Hits going hard. Shearing off the remaining armor in the center torso. 44 structure left on the Urban Mech as it flails about trying to find some footing or some position to, to work from. Iolo. New guy. Looking for some place to go that can get him a line of sight, but the Urban Mech has fallen back too much. Temporary round of quiet falls over, but Bjorn, can Bjorn find a line? Bjorn finds a line hard on his left. Wheels up onto the rocks. Still pushing that red line, and there you go. With only 44 structure left, we can't risk it. He needs to pull back on a laser. Let's lose the salvo, though. Six is going to be good. Hitting all of that left side. Plenty of armor left on the urban mech as it guards through the salvo. Urban mech still trying to find some position to work from but probably isn't going to make it happen here as Iolo is going to come right down into Murder Town. And the Urban Mech exposes its right side in a dire miscalculation that leads a center torso open. Iolo, with the firing solution, lets it rip. Autocannon lands soundly. And that is match as the Usyk pair of Hunchback pilots, Bjorn and New Guy, take it to the house not without cost but they get through both of them functional but man pretty deep gashes in the legs on new guy and that side torso with all the ammo starting to get dinged up bad Bjorn managing to come out despite some real focus fire early Six structure left in the center torso. Manages to guard it throughout the rest of the match. 17 rounds, 21 minutes, and 14 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, as this pair of Usyk pilots raises the checkered flag, the flag of victory, while the enemy forces go down hard. None harder than that first hunchback who just got trucked. Man, there is no salvage to be had from that. Maybe some heat sinks. And victory it is for this pair of Usyk pilots as they advance on to the next round of the Euler training regime. But that'll be all for today's Battletech in the morning. I am, as always, your fight announcer, Captain Nips. Hope all of you out there are having a wonderful holiday. Have a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll see all of you in the next video.